this is Gareth Dyke from Research Square Company and I'm answering researcher questions that you've asked us and I've got another one here in front of me. What's it like to work as an editor for a journal or a publishing company? Well, as well as working for Research Square Company, I'm also the editor-in-chief of a journal, a biology journal. And what's it like being the editor of that journal? Very, very busy. We get lots of papers all of the time. We get maybe five or six submissions to our journal every day. But luckily, I have a great team of production managers, a great team of academic editors who help us make decisions about whether the papers we get submitted to our journal should be sent out for initial peer review. We reject maybe 20 or 30 percent of the papers that we get. Higher impact factor journals will reject a lot more in nature, in science, up to nine out of 10 submissions get initially rejected by editors, by people like me before peer review. So have a think about your paper. Is your research a really good fit with that journal's aims and scopes? Have you got an effective cover letter that explains clearly to the editor why your paper should be accepted for peer review in that journal. How does it fit? Will it be interesting to the readers of that journal? Do you address an important question in your research area? Now, the other major part of my job is then deciding who should be used as a peer reviewer and managing the comments that come back from peer reviewers on authors' articles. Will those Review comments go back to the original authors. Are they fair? Are they too aggressive? Are they too angry? And the other thing I would like to say is never feel afraid. Never feel scared about talking to your editor, writing to your editors, asking for updates on your papers, or indeed asking for clarification if you feel that you have not been treated fairly in the peer review process. Editors are normal people. We love it when people get in touch with us and ask us about papers. Thanks very much for listening.